experiment which I'm undertaking here is not really trying to say which of these characters is the true messiah, but rather to say, okay, I'm gonna take everything each of these men says as the complete and utter truth, and I'm gonna try to describe what the world looks like from that perspective. What are the implications for us, for mankind, if this person truly is the messiah? I had certain criteria who I was going to pursue. It had to be people who already were out in the public with these revelations, that they had a consistent revelation over a, a long period of time, in, in many cases decades, that they had a sort of a work through theology of being Jesus. They had published scriptures. These people are not psychotic in the moment claiming they are Jesus like you would find in any mental institution. It is a slightly different thing, whatever it is. Jonas, we know that religious faith can be distorted and used by people with ruthless power. Are these ruthless people? In my impression is, is that they all truly believe this revelation of the people I met I believe they basically want the best for mankind. I mean, the sense I got was that this was also a burden to many of them, and they were taking that upon their shoulders. And they simply are doing what God has instructed and, and what they think is creating the best outcome for us all. In my impression, several of these men were, as far as being manipulators of, of souls, I would say they were not very talented. You know, I mean, like if you were doing this to control people, then, then I would say there are lots of people around the world who do it much better than them.